had a hell of a scare once. She almost got hit by that car. Don't forget about Zach. She must have been terrified. Yeah, thank God Sarah's all right. Yeah. You know, Ben was wondering if Jordan might have been targeting her. But then it turns out that it was a, it was a drunk driver. Yeah. Okay, so that had to be some kind of a relief, right? Sure. Yeah. I think so. But you know what? Instead of hope starting to smoke, I wish she had just come to me for some kind of support. Starting to smoke? My mom's been smoking? I only have your well-being in mind. Me, cigarette smoking causes serious disease. Yes, you're right. But just for today. Well, uh, you can still indulge. As a matter of fact, I will join you. May I propose a toast, Your Highness? You may. Your everlasting reign. It's only a matter of time before you and Stefano rule Salem together. together in the past, but it was the past, and this, this is a new beginning. But your highness must have a consort. Perhaps. I do not wish to work with Steffi. Not this time. Now. John. I cannot wait to see him. John Black. Yes. No, actually, we, we didn't see anything, but Haley Chen said that she saw your mother standing right out there smoking a cigarette. Yeah, but my mom doesn't smoke. And I saw her earlier today. If she'd been smoking, I would have smelled. What did she seem to you? Relieved that Julie's doing better, but, well, she didn't feel great. Do you know what was wrong? Yeah, she just seemed really tired. And she kept getting this random pain in the back of her neck. She said that it's because of the stress, because of everything that's been happening recently, but uh, I'm sure it'll pass. Yeah, so am I. In the meantime, we'll keep an eye on her just to make sure, though. Hey, Doc and I are going to grab a bite to eat. If you two aren't busy, you want to join us? Hey, please do. I'd like to hear more about how Julie's doing with the pacemaker. I, I, I'm sure with whatever happened with Julie's heart was just a glitch. She'll be fine. Gabby, I just want to thank you again for donating Stefan's heart. I mean, you gave my grandmother the greatest gift there is, life. And it means that much more because you, know, you two didn't have the best history. Yeah, sometimes you just have to be the bigger person. Besides, now that Stefan's gone, I really know what it's like to lose somebody that you love. I, I also know how terrible Lonnie felt about accidentally shooting Stephanie. And seeing you two talking here today gives me hope. I didn't think we'd ever move past it. I knew we'd find a way. Thanks again for giving my fiance. Sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to bring up the wedding. That's fine. You know, um, Lonnie and I were talking and, uh, she mentioned that you two thought I didn't want to be there, but uh, I actually do. 
we were just trying to be sensitive about your feelings, but if you're cool with it, we'd love to have you there. Right, then? Eli? Uh, Julie's doctor wants to speak to you. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. You are truly evil. I'm not the one that gunned down an innocent man in cold blood. It was an accident, Gabby. How many times do I have to tell you that? A million. And I still would never forgive you. You loved Eli once. How can you just hurt him like that? Because this is about hurting you. It has nothing to do with Eli. He knows how much I love him. What, do you think he's just gonna let me walk out of his life? What am I supposed to tell him? Honey, I, that's not my problem. It's yours. And it better be convincing, or else Julie's a goner. John is the love of my life. He always has been.